Okay, I'm doing a couple bids out here. One was for concrete, but now I'm doing an asphalt quote for Plateau Market. Uh, this is going to include a base bid to do a couple patches. One being a patch out here at the northwest entrance, uh, which is shared by the orthodontic building and by the storage unit building. We can close this off and the orthodontics still have access from the east side or the south side in order to get into the property there. They also have a way to get in and out of here. So we can close this down as we do that patch. All right, so that patch right there, I have it marked on my map here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a four foot by 11 foot patch. Uh, Kathy, who I was talking to, says that it's the responsibility of that building, the next door neighbor, but she wants a quote on it because she needs to get it fixed regardless all right so that's a four by eleven three inch remove and replace we will not warranty that curb patch though because there's failed asphalt around it all right so we just got to make sure to make that note that that curb patch will not be warrantied she just needs it as a temporary fix for now then we've got this patch right here this patch if you could see on iPad here. I've got it marked. You can hardly see it, but it's a 3x16. That 3x16 is going to take care of this old asphalt here. We'll go about a foot this direction, actually about six inches this direction, six inches that way. Go right past the seams to get this cut out. And then when you go past this here, you'll go roughly two feet. Two feet in this direction. On the saw cut all right three by 16 right there um, you've got a drive-through that comes through for coffee so this will be a lot of fun um, we'll probably have to do this I would say uh, I, I would say they probably could still do business but they might need to do it from outside the door and maybe they have to uh, um, keep them back here and then channel the traffic out this direction while we do that small patch I would say starting early in the morning would probably be the best idea but it's a coffee shop so there's really no great time to do this job so we're just gonna have to shut it down for like a short period of time cut it out and um, and patch it back and then potentially uh, have the traffic move over to, into the right lane possibly Okay, so that is the base bid patchwork here. Then what we need to do is in the base bid count, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, no, this isn't on the base bid. That's not on the base bid. Just the base bid for these two patches. All right, now I'm gonna give you quantities for the bid option. The bid option for striping Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got 14 parking stalls that we'll need to stripe. Here's the boundary line right here at the seam. So 14 stalls. Then you've got six arrows going down the drive through here. You also have a four inch drive lane. That's white, and that is 146 feet. All right. Um, down at the very end, we have. Um, a stencil, a three foot stencil that says enter down here at the far end. And there you go, there's your enter. Here's your arrows. There's five of them, I think, or six of them, I said. So if you're able to see on the map here, I've got it highlighted where the six arrows, the four inch white, and the enter is all through here. And then we're going to do. Uh, asphalt uh, full depth grind and overlay on this now there's one spot right here that's cut in and I believe it was a sensor so I gotta ask her what we're doing with that because she told me I wouldn't have to deal with any sensors out here and we didn't talk about that so this asphalt I'll, I'll, I'll get the answer on that but we've got a full depth grind and overlay through the drive-through and what we would do is we would follow the white line all the way down because that's their property 
that dimension is 131 feet by 12 feet. Okay, so 131 feet by 12 feet. I'm at the end of the drive through In that drive through there's no iron, no catch basins or anything. Now we've got this whole section here from curb out to curb. And then you've got the property line right here. I'm gonna do a full depth grinding overlay on this whole north section going all the way out to the entrance and out the entrance. And then we're gonna stop where that white car is. There's curbs down there. All right, that dimension, if you can see it on here, is 121 by 62. Then you've got the front entrance area, which is 41 by 51. And then you've got 29 by 18. That covers this whole north area. So what do we have in here? We've got iron here. We've got a little six inch lid here for water. We've got a catch basin here. All this asphalt is crumbling. Let's assume three inch removal, three inch placement. We're gonna go all the way up to the concrete on this. Okay, so it's gonna take all the asphalt up to this concrete. The flow needs to come off of the concrete, make its way that direction to that catch basin. And then right about here is the high point at this joint. Here's the high point and the water flows this direction and down to that catch basin. So right about where our truck is here, that's the crest here. And water flows that direction and in this direction and down to the cash basin. Okay. Um, we'll take this cut all the way out, straight shot, straight shot to here. And then we would come up, go across to the curb, take out all this old nasty asphalt go up and then do a straight shot cut 90 degree shot over to the corner of the concrete and then all this entrance will come out okay boundary line will be right here right along the curb you've got a catch basin down there all right so if we go to do this work we'll have to close down this front area and that drive through is going to have to be closed down for the day as well Weekday is what we're shooting for. Access to the gas station though, people will be able to come in from the south end and get gas and go right back out the south end. And we can have this area closed and this area closed. All right, and then one more thing is down at the uh, far end, there's a speed bump that is 25 feet by two feet, three inch tall. You can see it right down here cars are scraping as they come out of here because it's kind of a drop from here so I said why don't we remove this move it down kind of key cut it in and put in another speed bump here and maybe make it a little less than three inches so like maybe two and a half inches above ground and then we'll put it in recess it into the ground two inches so we'll cut in and pour and then only do about a two two and a half inch tall speed bump going right here at the end okay and then paint it white think that's it any other questions let me know as far as staging goes um, I know that uh, there's not a whole lot of space around here there's some parking out here where the U-Haul trucks are and we can use that for staging back here uh, we could also ask the storage unit place if we could use that area right there for parking while we do our work. Uh, all this property right here is owned by the Plateau Market. So there's, there's that and there's also some parking available over here that we can use just outside the property.